Hello, I'm Drew. And I'm Ashley. And this is our Video Math Project. Our first um, chapter that we did is chapter 12, section one, and that is finding the nth term of a sequence. And then some definitions we have for you are is a sequence, which is an ordered set of numbers. And the term of a sequence is each number in the sequence. An infinite sequence continues without end, such as natural numbers. An infinite sequence has a limited number of terms, such as one, two, three, and four. Okay, and so there are two types that we are going to show you how to do, and they are recursive and explicit. And recursive is each term found by using previous terms. Which is the one we're going to show you first, but before we do that, you must know some of the terms. Um, and the first term is a sub 1, that's the first term of each sequence. a sub n is the nth term. And a sub n minus 1 is the previous term. For the example, given a1 equals 7, here is the uh, problem, a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 minus 5. First we have to find the first five terms of each sequence. So we know the first term, which is 7. a1 equals 7. To find a2, you have to do 7 minus 5, which equals 2. Because the a sub n1 right here is the previous term. To find a sub 3, you do 2 minus 5, which is negative 3. A sub 4, you do negative 3 minus 5, which is negative 8. And A sub 5, you do negative 8 minus 5, which is negative 13. Now we have the first five terms of each sequence. The other way of finding a sequence is explicit which is each term depends only on the number of the term, which is n. Uh, a sub n equals two to the n, to the n minus one power. power plus 10. So we're going to show you how to do this. Drew's gonna write this out. I'm going to explain it. So Again. Find the, find the first five terms in a sequence. And you do this by a1, 2, <coughs> 1 minus 1, because you're finding a1, so you put the 1 in for the n, and you will get 11. So you can just literally put this straight in your calculator. a2, then you put 2 in for n minus 1 plus 10 equals 12. And you continue to do this until you find the first five terms. So a, you put the three in for the n, and you get 14. a sub four, you put the four in for the one, plus 10, equals 18, <laughs> plus 10, equals 26. And that is an example of explicit, which is another way of finding a sequence. And this, and so the recursive relies on the previous term. And explicit depends only on the on a number of the term. And that is how you do explicit, explicit and, recursive. and recursive. So again, explicit is just each term depends only on the number of term the term in. And recursive is each term found by using previous terms. And both of these are ways um, to find numbers in a sequence. Our next section that we did was chapter 12, section four. And the objective that we did was finding the sum of a geometric sequence. A geometric sequence is consecutive terms that have a common ratio. And the geometric series is the indicated sum of the terms in a geometric sequence. Some things that you need to know to figure out this is R, which equals the common ratio. The formula is S sub N equals A sub 1, parentheses 1 minus R 
to the nth power over 1 minus r, close parentheses. S sub n equals the sum of the geometric sequence, and a sub 1 is the first term of the sequence, and n is the nth term. To find the common ratio, you take any term and divide it by the previous term. An example of finding a geometric series is you have to find the indicated sum for each geometric series. The problem we're going to use is S sub 5 for 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Again, the formula is S sub n equals A sub 1, parentheses, 1 minus r to the nth power, divided by 1 minus r, close parentheses. Okay, so again, this is our problem. We're going to find the sum. So the very first step is to find the common ratio. And you do this by r equals a sub n divided by a sub n minus 1. And a, remember, a sub n minus 1 is the previous term. So you can take any term and divide it by its previous term. So the terms we are going to use is 16 divided by 8, which equals 10. So your ratio is 2. The second step is to plug all of these things, all the numbers you have, into the equation or formula. So it's going to be <coughs> excuse me, s sub 5 equals 1 minus one, 1 open parentheses 1 minus 2 to the fifth power divided by 1 minus 2 close parentheses. So you're going to simplify this so it's going to be 1 minus 2 to the fifth, which is 32, minus, divided by negative 1. And that's going to equal negative 31, because 1 minus 32 is negative 31, divided by negative 1, which equals 31. And because this number right here was a 1, you don't have, if you, it, won't, it doesn't matter if you multiply it or not, but if it's a different number, you'd have to multiply it to the final um, answer. But seeing as it's 1, you don't have to. So the sum of the geometric series is 31. And that is how you find geometric series.